What do you love the most about Italy? The landscape, the culture, the food? My name is Vincenzo from the food blog Vincenzo's Plate. And through eight foodie and adventure field days, I'm going to unlock what I love, the secrets of the greenest region in the boot, my native Abruzzo, where I grew up. I now live in Australia and haven't been back for a couple of years. So not only will you get to meet my family and friends, but together we will cook and eat our way through some of the treasures of Italy's best kept secret. Welcome to Italian Explored with Vincenzo Splat. Welcome to Abruzzo. And so it begins a culinary journey through the unexplored region of Abruzzo. Here we are in Pescara Beach, which is my city. Eight days of sunshine, beautiful sights from the mountain to the seaside, and a few treasures in between. I'm Suzanne, and I'm lucky enough to have been a part of this expedition, as I just happen to be married to entertainer and food enthusiast Vincenzo's Plate. Benvenuti a Vincenzo's Plate. This first episode is an introduction into the man himself and his wonderful family who welcome you to feast at their table with arms wide open before we take off to visit the sites of Vincenzo's hometown of Pescara, one of the most vibrant places to visit in Abruzzo, which is bursting with life and, let's face it, a spectacularly vibrant city too often overlooked. With a coast spanning much farther than the eye can see, we take a day trip out on the water before ending up in the magical beachside town of San Vito. And of course, with Vincenzo's dad along for the ride, the pair cook up a seafood storm right underneath a piece of Abruzzese history. Preparations are well underway for our arrival to our second home, Nonna's Place in Pescara. With the finest wine and traditional antipasto dishes on display, the only thing missing from the table is us. After not visiting Italy for two years, Vincenzo and I arrived to a hearty Italian welcome home. We are all overjoyed with emotion, whilst Vincenzo's dad, Paolo, is quickly ready to start catching up, and the grandmothers are all about the hugs. After a long flight from Australia, I'm finally here in Italy with my family, and this is the beginning of Vincenzo's plate in Italy. Come with me. Hey, hey, <laughs> Finally, I can give this to my dad. I've been waiting two years to give this to you. So now you are okay. officially part of the Chesos Play team. Welcome to Nonna's table. Full of colour and vibrant flavours, where all the magic begins. This long-standing tradition is still a staple in many Italian homes, where family members, young and old, gather for a Sunday lunch. Vai, si mangia! Vai! Vai, dai! In honour of our arrival, today's meal is especially significant, meaning the big guns have been brought in. An Abruzzese favourite, these coveted skewers called rosticini are made from sheep's meat and cooked to perfection on a charcoal grill. They are even more delicious than they look and make a regular appearance at special occasions. So as we dig in to crumbed olives, fresh ripened tomatoes, grilled eggplant and potato croquettes, we take a few moments to savour a wine or two along with not only these robust flavours of the Mediterranean diet, 
but also our treasured family made up of four incredible generations. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate in Italy, guys. I'm so excited because here we are in Pescara Beach, which is my city. And I'm gonna show you a gem, a secret spot of Italy. Stay tuned. Pescara means pescare, kind of, and it's two fish. We're very proud of our fish, and we're very proud of the beach that we have. Pescara is one of the youngest cities in Italy, and it's a beautiful city on the coast of Italy. And this city was destroyed during the war. And people like my grandfathers, they came here, and they rebuilt this beautiful town that is now young. Fashion is very important for these people. Food is extremely important. Lifestyle is awesome. You know, there are offices up there. People at lunchtime, they come to the beach, they take off the suit, they have a nice lunch, relax on the beach, and go back to work. I don't think this is stressful. This is a paradise. And the motto for everyone from Abruzzo is enjoy life. Enjoy every single day like if it's the last one of your life. Cafes, cafes, the culture of cafes here is extremely important like the rest of Italy. And like I said, it's very young. This is something that not many people know and no one wants to share it with you, but I'm going to share it with you. And you know what? I'm gonna show you what else this region has to offer. Pescara, a city with 11 kilometers of coast. And I'm talking about 200 beach clubs. What's a beach club? A beach club is a place where you go there, you rent your umbrella for the day, so that's a little spot, your little paradise for the day. And no one can take it away from you. You get chairs, you get uh, food and drink served for you so that you can enjoy that beautiful day on the beach. Adriatic Beach is nice, warm, and the water is flat, fantastic. You're only 20 minutes away from the mountain, and this city, guys, it's a paradise where your life here is not stressful at all. It's actually relaxing, beautiful, romantic, and you feel like you're on holiday. And I am on holiday right now, so stay connected. Later on, I'm gonna talk more about beach clubs and what this city has to offer. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Wow, oh, isn't this the best place in the world? Welcome to Pescara. June, July is the best time to come to Italy, simply because it's hot, but not too crazy hot. There are not too many tourists around, and the national sale starts, which means you can go to a store to buy shoes, clothes, or anything else, and the sales are up to 70% off. That's pretty good. This fountain behind me is a piece of contemporary art by a local artist named Pietro Cascella. It was commissioned in 1987 to be Pescara principal monument. The artist wanted his sculpture, the Nave di Cascella, to represent power and energy and stand tall between the sandy beach and the busy walkway. 
minutes away from the center of Pescara, you will find the fisherman port, where every single day, amazing fresh fish gets delivered to the people of Pescara. Pescara is surrounded by the Adriatic Sea, which is very, 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 very salty. And you know what that means? It means the fish is already seasoned and you don't have to do anything else. You put it in your mouth and it's ready to go. So this is what it's the real taste of Italy that you can't get anywhere else. I'm standing right here on the new tourist attraction of Pescara, which is the Ponte, the bridge of Pescara, where you basically get all the beautiful view of Pescara. An amazing view that you can get from here, especially if the day is sunny. Part of Pescara lifestyle is to keep yourself fit. It's very important for the people here. So there are lots of uh, tracks for we, we can go and ride, not only the beach, the bridge is a place where you can go and ride your bike, where you can go and run. There's a 10K back ride that goes from here all the way to Monte Silvano, which is a city next door. Um, there are lots of places uh, where you can actually get fit, not only the gym or the beach. What, what, what can I say, guys? Uh, look at the panorama, look at the view that we get from here. Stunning, amazing. Pescara is only 20 minutes away from the mountain, two hours drive from Rome, and two hour flight from London. So what are you waiting for? I'm here waiting for you to enjoy this stunning city and region with me. Welcome to Pescara Porto, and today we are going to visit San Vito, the beautiful coast of Abruzzo. We are going to the province of Chieti, and we are going to visit the Trabocco, a proud Abruzzese fisherman house. So let's go on the boat, and our captain Luciano is here. Ciao, Luciano. Ciao. Buongiorno. Ciao. Ciao. Ready to go, Luciano. Ciao. Buongiorno. We want to go very fast yeah, today, yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> let's go. Vito is located 45 minutes by sea from the port of Pescara, and although only a short trip away, it is a world apart from the life of the city and might just make your heart skip a beat. A hotspot for divers, it will be hard to come by a local fisherman who won't jump at the chance to take you there and share in the marvel of the seemingly untouched crystal clear waters. I feel so connected to this place. This is Punta di Giobbe, which um, in the old days, in the history, used to be uh, very useful for the fishermen, because during winter time, sometimes we get storms here in Abruzzo. Not all the time, but sometimes we do. So basically, if the wind will come from this way, the fishermen will go the other way there, behind this mountain, to get protected, to be protected from the storm. But if the wind will come from that way, towards this side, well, the fishermen will stay <laughs> in this beautiful spot. That's a nice spot to stay and protect yourself. I pescatori, anche eh, uscendo d'inverno, rischiano molto di più incappare in queste tempeste, diciamo. This is the Adriatic Sea, and we are in the region of Abruzzo, and this coast of Abruzzo is famous as the Costa de Trabocchi. What's Trabocco? Trabocco is this uh, fisherman house behind me. There are lots of them, maybe hundreds of them, built here in the Abruzzo coast. The fishermen built it in the old days to be able to fish right from the top of the water by putting a net in the water and then taking the net out of the water, and the net will be full of fishes. The water is crystal clear here, but even though it's beautiful and clear, in these days you can't fish right here anymore because the boats out there are getting all the fishes. So those beautiful old and part of the history of the Abruzzo houses, fishermen houses, became 
nice restaurants, beautiful restaurants, I would say, and they will give you still fresh seafood in a nice way, well served on the water. <laughs> you basically eat right on the water. So let's go and see what they are about. An experience in one of these man-made huts is literally unmissable. It's the perfect juxtaposition of modernity mixed with rich tradition. Proud restaurant owners have kept these locations in the family for many years, along with seafood recipes which have been tried, tested and savoured. This is the Trabocco called Cayana and uh, in Italian means Il Gabbiano. It's famous here in this area as the uh, friend's trabocco because all the uh, experts, divers, experts, all oh, people who want to become a diver, they come here, they do the lesson, and then they have a nice lunch or dinner after a beautiful day. We've got someone here fishing. So they're actually taking, this, this is the trabocco, look at this. This is the trabocco, this is the history of the trabocco. What an amazing experience. So they're taking the net up, and we should be able to see the fish inside. Let's hope so. And if they do have the fish inside, we're gonna go up and eat all the fish they got. This is an Abruzzese experience, guys. You're experiencing the real Abruzzo. No fish. No fish. No fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the way it works. You were lucky to see how the net of a trabocco works. So here we got a friend of the captain who we found him in the water doing snorkeling and we got another friend who's gonna have lunch with us today. <laughs> this is how friendly we are in Italy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what Italy is about, lifestyle. I missed it so much. Benvenuti a Vincenzo's Play. Sul mare, on the beach, we hear a San Vito. Behind us, you can see a classic Abruzzese Trabocco. In this beautiful location on the water, we are making a beautiful uh, dish that my dad loves to make. An antipasto, giusto, un antipasto. Come si chiama questo antipasto? Scampi al cognac. So, prawns with cognac. So, let's see what we need to make prawns with cognac. So, we need extra virgin olive oil, cognac, a glass of white wine, fresh parsley, beautiful cherry tomatoes, rosemary, onion, and of course, chili if you like it. The most important ingredient, of course, is the prawns. We got prawns from the Adriatic Sea. So now you put another amount of extra virgin olive oil in the pan. Well, look how beautiful this extra virgin olive oil is. When the oil is nice and warm, you put half onion and you cut it into small pieces. And now you put the beautiful cherry tomatoes, nice and juicy. We are using about 12 of them. Now it's time to put some nice rosemary inside. Nice fresh rosemary from my grandmother's garden, just to give uh, that beautiful taste to the soil. Hey guys, can you believe where we are? Look at this location. Where in the world you can do this? Thanks to Luciano. So we're here on his boat. I think now it's time to put a scamp inside. Ragazzi, volete ancora più pesce? Grazie. Wow! Wow! I can smell the Adriatic water. Aggiungiamo un po' di vino bianco. Ah! The wine is also from here, from Zaccagnini Winery. Un pizzico di sale, ma proprio un pizzico perché il nostro pesce già è saporito 
da se stesso, quindi ok, più che sufficiente. Because we are using one kilo of uh, prawns, we're going to add 50 ml of cognac. The cognac will give the nice taste to it. Now we need to cover this for about five minutes, but you can't open it at all. That should be nice and locked. I can smell the cognac, plus the smell of the sea. Oh, oh. Come here, guys, and experience Abruzzo with us. Papa, sei un grande. Grazie. Oh. <laughs> È un piacere cucinare per te e per gli amici. Now we're ready to open. E here we have an explosion of aromas, an explosion of flavors, flavors of the Adriatic Sea. Thank you so much, Dad. Grazie, papà. And now it's time to serve the scampi al cognac made by Paolo. Let's go. Il piatto è pronto, vai, Grazie. gusta. Grazie. I have to say, my dad is, uh, is the master. I'm actually playing sorry if I said something before. <laughs> tu sei il maestro, papà. Grazie. Io. Vai, fammi vedere come si mangia. Teach me how to eat this as well. How to cook it, how to eat it in this beautiful location. Comandante, arrivo anche da te. Io lo mangio tutto, faccio schifo. E ora si mangia Vincenzo Splate. Paolo Splate, I would say. Ah, grazie, vero. Mmm, mmm, dai, dai. Mmm. So there you have it. Our first day filled with delicious food, laughter, and a couple of absolute must-see destinations. Wait until you see the unexplored spots we reveal next. After a beautiful day of swimming in San Vito, Dead cooking in San Vito, having scampi, pasta, and relaxing, and wow. it's time for us to go home. And this is the way we finish the day. Ah, certo, certo, certo. <laughs> Filling up the petrol here at the Porto Turistico Pescara. Bye, guys, have a good day. Okay. <laughs>